If I had to give you a quick summary in a few words of what I think about this collection, I would say that it's spectacular. I would say that all the pieces seem very wearable. The color offerings are so on point this season. However, everything seems to be super pricey, especially ready to wear and the costume jewelry. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. In today's video, we're gonna go through the new Chanel collection in more details because if you haven't seen, I did a first impression of the runway. Obviously in the runway, they don't show everything that is available in boutique, but you get an idea of how the collection looks like, some of the ready to wear and some of the bags. But now that the collection is out, is anything worth getting? So let's dive right in. And at the end of the voicing over, I'm gonna share my top picks of what I would consider buying from this collection. First up, we have a shearling lambskin, a seasonal bag, still reasonably priced. Back pocket, it looks like a really nice seasonal piece to own if you already have all your classics and you want something extra special. This is something that I would go for and the size is decent. This drawstring bag, I do like the top handle with the pearl embellishment. It is cute, so if, if you love it, then go for it. This one looks really interesting. I love these kind of vintage-y looking, uh, very novelty pieces. I don't own a boy bag myself, and it's not my preferred shape. However, uh, one of the things that are the most attractive from this whole collection are their colors. So yeah, even though I'm not super attracted to the boy bag necessarily, I just find this combo to be super pretty. Same here in lambskin, the Chanel 19, one of my favorite bags in this beautiful brown color, which looks to me like a really beautiful burnt caramel. Just stunning. It does look more warm compared to the previous season. A few velvet bags. This one has a camellia stamped velvet. I love the fact that the chains can be doubled up. Okay, so this is another version of the velvet bag in navy, rectangular version. I love the fact that they allow the doubling of the strap. Even as a seasonal bag, I would consider this because it does have a lot of classic features to it. And I know it is a velvet and I know it's still quite expensive. So I wouldn't go for this if it was my first bag necessarily, but if you love a velvet or if you want to add a velvet in your collection, I would go for it. Mini 2.55, so the mini reissue. They have this really beautiful calf skin in metallic silver, and the price is still reasonable considering all the price increases. This is the other metallic. They call it copper, but to me it looks very rose gold, coppery um, color, which is also stunning. We're seeing more of the burgundy bags, in this case in the reissue so pretty and such a rich red smooth calfskin bag and the chain looks to be adjustable and of course it's a seasonal bag but i think it has enough of the classic features leather lining it doesn't have a back pocket though but in general i do find this one to be quite attractive and the price is still reasonable for what it is nowadays so we looked at the mini version of this earlier in white and they do have it in a larger version too and they do offer it in burgundy as well i do find this small flap to be really really interesting i would consider this and i do know that they offer this bag in several different colors too i believe there is a gray i believe there's a white pretty sure there's a burgundy as well. The strap looks really interesting and different from the usual. No back pocket, but it is in caviar and I do like the shape of it. This is something that I thought shape-wise is interesting. It's very, very tiny though, and vanity cases are not always the most practical, but they do look super cute when handheld or carried. And there's just something about having a top handle and a very structured architectural design behind it that I like. Uh, obviously a very novelty piece, but super cute. We're seeing some beautiful green colors here. It reminds me of a hunter green. I, I don't know how else to describe this green. It's so rich. It's a beautiful deep green. And it's just 
stunning. I guess in the different textures, they will look slightly different. This is the calf skin. Uh, this is the grain calf skin, so the caviar, and earlier it was just the smoother calf skin. But nevertheless, it's just a stunning shade of green. More green. In this case, it looks more like a turquoise green. Super cute. They also have a much, much darker brown. Like I said, just so many different colors. It is stunning. I mean, it's such a rich kind of vintage brown. I want to move right along to small leather goods, just like the handbags. There's a lot of different color offering and uh, some interesting, very novelty pieces as seen on this model, which we've talked about on my first video. Uh, are they worth it? It's very subjective. It's the size of a card holder, but it's so novelty cute. I love the little addition of the top handle. This is the hunter green version such a pretty color again the same items basically i feel like this season is all about the colors this is another one that we saw on the runway just a slightly different shape it has a bit more depth as you can see here uh, it just has a little bit more depth to the little <laughs> card holder handbag uh, and the other feature that is notable here is that the strap can be doubled up it is still very small and it still would probably hold um, you know your cards a lip balm that type of thing that's it <laughs> but it is super cute and very novelty we have a gray version right here in calf skin i love this little top handle feature here it looks like it would be leather lined as well in this version hence the slightly higher price but i do like the shape of this one it's so cute this is a pink version a very dark pink almost red so stunning i mean these are just super cute i even love this one it is getting more expensive i mean it's over three thousand but it's so cute with the embellished pearl handle versus something like this which has no top handle although these chains with the little ball are adjustable so you can make it a bit shorter longer that's a really nice neat feature of this new version and i actually really like the oversized cc on the quilt as well i'm still a really big fan of phone holders and in this case, I love the addition of the little top handle in the pearl detail. This one is just like the previous vanity that we spoke about with an adjustable chain. Actually, the beige, I didn't mention, this beige color is also really, really hot this season. Love this color lambskin. So beautiful. This season's grays is your dove gray not too dark not too light just the right amount of gray with the addition of the gold hardware it looks like to be age gold hardware the same little vanity case but here in the burgundy lambskin such a stunning stunning saturated burgundy chanel just does color so well sometimes especially when they nail it they know exactly what you want so this one is very red, but with just a touch of the purple in it. This one has to be my favorite SLG this season of all the smaller the goods. And you guys know I'm not into smaller the goods. Uh, actually, I'm into smaller the goods. I just don't buy a ton of them. I only buy what I need. I already love this vanity case from several seasons before when they first came out. I believe it was 2019. And I could never get my hands on it. But the fact that they added a top handle for me is a game changer. <laughs> I know it's just a little detail, but it's so good. And I do find this size to be a lot more reasonable than all the other novelty items that we've seen. Even though it might not fit a phone, it may be a stretch. If you have a small phone, it's fine. But I do always tend to buy the largest phone. So it might not fit my phone, but uh, it's still one of my favorites. Oh, this green. My gosh. They just nail it this season with the colors. It's just stunning. So on point. The past collection was a little bit lighter in the caramel. Oh, so good. Such a beautiful shade. Moving right along to costume jewelry, which is 
Something that I was very excited for, honestly, but after seeing the actual detailed pictures, at least the ones that are posted, I'm a little bit more taken aback just because the prices on these are just absolutely crazy. Uh, there is still maybe a few that are okay, like this long necklace. I love it. Um, if I was on the hunt for a long necklace, I'll just bite the bullet and get one of those. But the costume jewelry has just gone up to a level of pricing that is just unreasonable. Especially now that I'm into the fine jewelry, I know how much more you're getting in terms of cost per wear and just durability as well. So I'm going to be very frank here. There are a lot of pieces that are beautiful, but I'm not even going to go over them because if you just look at the prices, they are insane. But anyway, I do like this necklace a lot, the one that was shown on the model earlier. This choker, I really did like it on the runway, but somehow after seeing this in close-up, I'm a little bit more underwhelmed, especially after seeing the price. If it was, you know, maybe six, seven hundred dollars, I would be maybe interested just as a fun piece, but no, not at this price range. And don't even get me started on these AirPod cases. Oh my gosh, they are fun. The design is, you know, it's, it's a novel, okay? It's nice. I even showed it to my husband and he was like, wow, it's nice. But after I told him how much it was, AirPod necklaces, I mean, it's just a bit silly. This necklace is so stunning on its own, but then you attach some AirPods. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I have bought really expensive costume jewelry before and every time I did it, I felt like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe I just spent that amount of money on costume jewelry and I will still do it from time to time if it's a really stunning piece but I will try to limit myself to more reasonable pieces such as this one it's a cute little classic pro I'm gonna skip over these it's just not that interesting anyway this one is cute I actually seen it on the model and I do like how it uh, it drapes on the ears it's really nice this is a classic looking one just black and white pearl a bit more reasonable price wise and if you like the longer version of the same necklace, you can go for this one. This one will drape quite nicely all the way down to below the waist. These ones are also really nice as a staple long necklace in your collection. I think this is really nice. This one is really fun and whimsical. These ones, I thought they were cute before I saw the price of it. Then I said, no, thank you. I'm going to finish off with ready to wear. I know it's been a while, but there were a lot of pieces that I really loved from this collection. I love this jacket, by the way. This is the one that I would try to get my hands on if I had the funds, but it is very expensive. So I'm just going to hold because I have other things that I would rather get. I loved even the play suit, the idea of it anyway. Uh, I wouldn't wear it necessarily, but I did like the idea of it and it looked great on the runway. This sweater is another one that I commented before that I really liked, considering how insane everything else is. This sweater is okay, actually. I also really, really liked this cardigan. Just a really nice tan earth tone. This jacket looks like very dressy on this model. Obviously, they dressed up the look. But if you were just to take that jacket alone, you can dress it down with jeans. This jacket also comes in black. I love the CC imprinting on it, the buttons, the edge detail. So this would be one that I would consider if I was after a particular Chanel jacket. I already loved the runway to begin with, but now that the collection is out and that we could see all the pieces, I feel like this collection is really exceptional, especially if you're into these colors. Obviously what they show online is only a subset of what is actually available in store. And of course, every store will have different stocks. The pictures that I'm using right now, they are all watermarked. These are all things that I found either on purse forum or on Instagram. There were several handbags that were really, really nice, even the seasonal ones. But especially in the permanent line, we're looking at the Coco Handle, the 19, the classic flaps. Anyway, if I had to really uh, share my top picks, I guess things that I would definitely consider a vanity case, the small size with the little top handle. The 19, I loved it in the caramel color, but even the gray is really nice. And I think they also have the white. 
In the classic flop, same thing. They had the caramel, the gray. Oh my gosh, the gray is so, so lovely. Even the white. Coco handle, same story. They had the caramel one. They had a pink one. They're probably really hard to get anyway because these colors, when they're that on point, get sold out very, very fast. So get your hands on them as soon as possible. In terms of ready to wear, even though they are very, very extortionately expensive, I did find that a few of them looked really classic. And if you're gonna bite the bullet, this white one is really pretty. It also comes in black. There's this cashmere one as well. And then of course, my favorite one is the tweed. Let me know if you're gonna try to get your hands on some of these things. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe because I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!